Hey everyone, welcome back to Terra Major Gardens. Today we're diving in the world of the Bilus Ant Springtail. The Bilus Ant Springtail is a small, soil dwelling arthropod that belongs to the order of Calimbula. An interesting fact about the Bilus Ant Springtail is its mutualistic relationship with ants. These springtails live in close association with ant colonies where they benefit from the protection and resources provided by the ants. While the ants benefit from the springtail's role in breaking down organic material. Bilus ant springtails are small, measuring about 1 to 2 millimeters in length. They have elongated bodies with six legs and a furcula, which is a fork structure in their abdomen that they use to spring away when threatened. They are typically pale in color, which helps them blend in with their surroundings within the ant nest. Bilus ant springtails are found in various habitats, but they are most commonly associated with ant nests. They thrive in moist habit environments with abundant organic materials such as leaf litter, decaying wood, and soil. Their distribution is often dependent on the presence of their ant hosts, and they can be found in many regions where these ants reside. These springtails are detritivores, feeding on decaying organic matter, fungi, and bacteria. Their diet plays a crucial role in the decomposition of process and nutrient cycling within the ecosystem. The Bilus ant springtails close association with ants provide them with a stable microhabitat and protection from predators. The Bilus ant springtail is not considered threatened due to its widespread distribution and adaptability to various environments. However, they are sensitive to environmental changes such as pollution and habitat destruction. Conservation efforts focus on preserving natural habitats and maintaining healthy soil ecosystems. That concludes today's guide on the Bilus ant springtail. These fascinating springtails play an important role in soil health and maintain a unique symbiotic relationship with ants. Thanks for listening, and if you found this information helpful, feel free to like, share, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating world of wildlife. Until next time, happy farming, happy gardening, and have a happy time building your terrariums.